It was the first day in the last year of my college. As usual, I was sitting in the last bench, minding my own business, playing book cricket. While the professor was asking for nominations for the class leader. And no one was ready to take that role. Suddenly, my friend Ramesh, he shouted, Sir, I nominate Vijayan. And he, leader. By the time I could say anything, the professor made a note, made the announcement and walked out. I felt like breaking Ramesh's neck. <laughs> but then I accepted the challenge. By the end of the next two semesters, I got a good name from my classmates and that professor for being a good accidental class leader. <laughs> Fast forward to 2017, I got elected as VP head of Hyderabad Toastmasters. Being the VP head elect, I was minding my own business, taking handover from my predecessor. Suddenly, due to an avoidable, unnecessary conflict within the team, the president-elect decided to step down and no one was ready to step into her shoes. Until one old time HTM I shouted, Vijayan, why don't you step up? <laughs> Me? President? <laughs> I was in self-doubt and that's when other members chimed in saying, yes Vijayan, go for it. That's how I became the accidental president of HTM from July 2017 to June 2018. So, first of all, fellow Toastmasters and my dear guests, becoming a president of a non profit organization like HTM is completely different than being a, a manager or a leader in a corporate. In corporate, employees get paid for the job given by the leader. Here, everyone are members, no one reports to president. <laughs> but, the president is, is accountable for everything that happens in the club. Leadership here is not about um, titles or positions, rather responsibility. So I told my EC team, guys, you are not working for me, but with me for our members. My predecessors have done a fabulous job in managing this club. The club standards were set so high and we were known as the lighthouse club for the city. My job is to sustain the standards and enhance the experience while dealing with other challenges in the club. So I set a vision for myself and my team. Keep the members in center of everything we do. With this vision set, we, with the second win, we started working against facing three major challenges. Challenge number one, low active member uh, in the club. I think this is a perennial problem <laughs> with all of us. Because every member has their own list of priorities in their life. And for some, attending a Toastmasters meeting is the least, and they don't turn up to meetings. So how do we get them to attend? Mahatriya Rao once said, more than money or fame, what people want is this personal touch. So as a leader, I tag my EC team with um, seven or eight members and hold them, connect with them on a regular basis. Just have a talk, casual talk, especially with those who couldn't attend a meeting and tell them, I missed you. I said, oh, are you okay? Anything can we do, can we do to help you? This personal touch by a short call from an executive member actually helped us improve our attendance over the years. Challenge number two, variety in meetings. As a leader, I asked my EC team, is there anything we can do more for our members? How can we enhance our learning experience so that members can uh, find more reasons to attend? <coughs> Looking back, I'm super happy for my uh, team who have pulled out many great meetings. To name a few, we had a series of education sessions from DTM CSK, DTM Ravi Teja, DTM Subramanian Kemi, DTM Pratima, Toastmaster Rajeshekar Mahamidana, Toastmaster Jagru, and Toastmaster Shailesh. On top of this, we had seven virtual learning sessions in collaboration with Vision Toastmasters called Gurukul Sessions. To enhance the bonding between members, we went for a movie 
We went for a Charminar walk. We created mentor groups just and started having fun. We also gave a timer to roll and um, joke master role just to provide additional stage time for members on, uh, on the stage. My team and I did went above and beyond monotonous meetings, make every single meeting enticing to attend for members and guests. Challenge number three, lack of visibility in club activities. Not all members were aware of what's happening in the club. As a leader, I wanted to enhance this communication and tell the world that we are an active and vibrant club. So we bumped up the PR activities in all social media platforms. I personally started writing emails to every member on a monthly basis titled HTM at a glance where I captured what has happened on that month, what is the upcoming events, what are our members accomplishments and much more. Our financials, club financials were never shared with members of previous years. So as a president I decided that we need to audit our club financials and share it with members. Our treasurer that year accounted for every rupee and set high standards of bookkeeping. I'm very glad that my successors are following these footsteps. Even today, they're able to share and audit and club financials to the members. Friends, becoming an accidental president of HTM is a boon given to me by the members because I learned how to get things done in a volunteer organization. As Swami Sivananda said, Put your heart, mind and soul into your smallest acts. This is the secret of success. Me and my team put our heart, mind and soul in everything we did to for the benefit of members. And this reflected in my 360 degree feedback from DTM Pratima and Toastmaster Parma. For me, the journey of being an accidental president is a shame because and I am always indebted for every member who trusted in me making me the one and only accidental president. Of course, of the day.